look at all these rackets. It's like a dream come true. But you know what's even better? Helping someone else make their dreams come true. That's right, I'm going to be giving away all of these rackets. Hey Joe! Yeah. Do you want a racket? What do you think? Hey Brooks! Never here before. What racket is this? <laughs> come on, let's go try. Let's go try, let's go try. So for the racket test, we're going to use the same variable. Basically, same tension, same string, same grip, and we're going to do three different tests. The first test is going to be the smash test. So we're going to smash the shuttle, not the racket. The second is the defense test. So we're going to drive, lift. The third test is the control test. So we're going to do like net shots to see how the rackets fare against one another. So if you want to stand a chance to win any of these rackets, be sure to watch till the end. Hint's going to be at the back of the video. At the back end of the video. Okay, so let's get started. Joe, pass me a racket. Ooh, almost hit my face. Right, ready? I think we need a new job. Okay, pass me a racket. There we go. One, two. Ah, much better. Hi guys, I'm Gerald, and let's now go and smash some shadows. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay, jokes aside guys. My name is Gerald. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Gerald. So he's literally named Gerald and he's going to be replacing me for this video to do the review because my arm is still injured. Today, we're going to be comparing five affordably priced Abros Nano Power Rackets. First up, we have the Venom priced at 66 US dollars with a weight of 78 grams, commonly known as 6U. It has a maximum string tension of 30 pounds with a balance point that is slight head heavy at 295 mm with a medium flex. Next up, we have the Nano 9900 Power and it's the most expensive racket at 70 US dollars with a weight of 82 grams, also known as 5U, with a maximum string tension of 30 pounds and a balance point that is slight head heavy as well at 295 mm with a medium flex. Next, we have the Force Light at 66 US dollars that is 6U at 78 grams, maximum string tension of 30 pounds, but this has a balance point that is evenly balanced at 290 mm with a medium flex. Next, we have the Power Z Lite, which is the first ever racket that Abros made and is the cheapest racket that we are reviewing today at 55 US dollars with a weight of 6U at 78 grams, maximum string tension of 30 pounds, balance point that is slight head heavy at 295 mm that is medium flex. Lastly, we have the Z Smash at 59 US dollars with a weight of 78 grams, 6U, maximum tension of 30 pounds with a balance point that is head heavy at 300 mm with a medium flex. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's like equally like it cannot feel the power.
the end of the test. Uh, now what do you think? Which racket do you think is the best when it comes to the smash test? Okay, so out of the five rackets I narrowed down to two. I think um, the two that's worth measuring would be the Nano Power 4 Slide and also the Nano Power Z Lite. Yeah, so for the Nano Power 4 Slide, I think you can feel the weight of the head when you deliver the smash. I think it's very important because um, you, you have a better control, you can have the um, control the smashers to create the steep angles of the smashers. So I think the, the feeling of the weight of the head is very important. Yeah. So for the Abros Nano Power Z Lite, it's slightly lighter but it still has some weight. So you definitely can feel the weight of the racket when you deliver your smashers. So what about the other three rackets? Yeah. So for the other three, I, I consider them to be um, lightweight racket, so they are very suitable for beginners and I think that they are also suitable for front court players when they are playing doubles. So one of the rackets that is worth mentioning is Nano Power Venom. So I tried using this racket to play the net shots and it felt really comfortable. Yeah, whereas the other two, there's um, some weight on the head, they are slightly heavier. So if I were to pick one that is suitable for the front court player in doubles, I would pick the Nano Power Venom. So what about the defense drill? Defense drill, I think in general, all five rackets are okay, but I would still prefer the Nano Power Force Light like, because for doubles drill, for the driving and defense, you want to feel the hit or racket. As, um, because I feel like for the defense, you need to have a lot of control. Yeah, so if you're able to feel the hit or racket, then you'll be able to deliver um, the better defense using a better control. Okay, so Joe, what do you think of the rackets? Uh, for me, I think the rackets for smashing, um, I think uh, everything felt the same except for this uh, narrow force light. I think uh, compared to all the other rackets, this racket is I think hit heavier. So when I was smashing, I could just felt the power, at least compared to all the other four rackets, I could felt the power going through the head. means I could, I was at least controlling where my smash was going. Because for the rest of the four, when I was smashing, you know, I couldn't feel where my shutter was going in general. Yeah. But the rest of the four rackets are kind of like similar. Yeah, the rest of the four rackets were very similar to me. Uh, I don't feel any difference. Uh, I'm a guy that has been using a lot of rackets in my past and I really couldn't I couldn't feel the difference between the, the four rackets. So you say that they feel the same, yep. but how are they in terms of quality? I think for the four rackets, what I mean by feels the same was when I was smashing, I just couldn't feel the control of the shuttle or I just couldn't feel the power that I was putting through the racket. So it felt that I was like, using a lot of power to smash it, but the shuttle was just like sliding left, right and center when I was smashing because I couldn't feel it into, in the hands, into my show, in, my, in the racket itself basically. Okay, so what about the defense test? Uh, for the defense test in general, uh, actually, uh, I actually liked all rackets in when in for like controlling the front. So when someone smashed, you control to the front. All rackets were actually good because you didn't need much control. Like you didn't you didn't need much control. But when it comes to driving, when you hit it back hard, uh, I think this uh, narrow force light was still the best for me because like I think similar to smashing, it was a bit hit heavier, so I could feel the power going through it. You know, for the rest of the four, when there was not as hit heavy, when I was trying to push it back, I felt that I couldn't feel the power that I was giving back, and the shutter wasn't. From trying trying out, so the shutter wasn't flying as far as expected. Yeah. What about the control test? Let's say for the front net play. For the control test, I think my favorite will actually be the Nano Nine Thousand Power. You know, just like the Venom, the Venom was the lightest and it was the easiest to control for me. But I didn't want something that was too light in general. So when I actually hold the Nano Nine Thousand, it was a bit heavier but lighter than the, the Nano Force Light. So when I was netting, I was able to control, but at the same time, if I was a doubles player, you know, it was you need to be an all-rounder player, you can't be just be a front player, you know. So that's why I think for me, the Nano 9000 will be the best for me in control. So Joe, in the end, which racket do you prefer? I think for me, prefer, for me, because I'm a I used to play doubles, I love to be the guy that controls at the front and not smashing. So I'm actually going to go with the Nano 9000. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Gerald, and thank you, Badminton Bay, for sponsoring these rackets. All right, I hope you found this video useful. If you want us to make more videos like this, let us know in the comment section below. And in order for you to sign up for this giveaway, this lucky draw kind of, all you need to do is to head down to the link in the description below, fill up the form, and if you want to double, triple, or even quadruple your chances of winning, Follow the instructions, so there are some things you need to do. Number one, you need to like Badminton Bay's Facebook page. Number two, leave a comment below that helps out this channel for the YouTube algorithm and many more. All the details will be in the description below. So thank you for watching, I'll catch you next time. Take care everyone. Take me,
Take really the new One, two, stop. You get the. Almost hit my face. Right, ready? I don't need. There we go. Where are we cutting? Now we. Okay, go. Okay, so I. Uh, yes, uh, make sure to take note of where he's stepping. That's the way stand back. You step back forward. Yeah, there. Oh, yeah, she the same thing. Just a cup of tea now, don't you? Uh, turn a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, smash first. Yeah. Smash first. Yeah. A nice one, give us a nice one. Like a full, full smash with the sound. Ah. Wait, sorry, sorry, not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. JJ, continue to the, your left a little bit. Turn uh, that way a little bit more. This way? Yeah. Your feet as well. This way? Uh, this foot back. Left foot back a little bit. Back a little bit more. Okay. No, no, your left foot. Your left foot, left foot. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, more or less. Ten. So I'll just, I'll just go here. Yeah. yeah. Hi guys, I'm Gerald. Welcome to VG Badminton. Now let's go and smash some shadows. No, no, no. 